We will use Modbus TCP Ethernet to connect and program the XGB PLC to the Machine Simulator Easy Transfer line. The Machine Simulator Easy PLC software suite is a comprehensive package with HMI, PLC, and Machine Simulator software. It features a machine simulator or MS that allows virtual communication with many programmable logic controllers or PLCs in a 3D world with real-time graphics and physical properties. Our PLC programming example will follow the five steps to PLC program development. We will use the simulator's pre-built easy transfer line machine to learn PLC programming. We will develop ladder logic, connect via Modbus TCP, and test our program using the free XG5000 PLC programming software and XGB PLC. Let's begin. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Step 1. Define the task. The first step of PLC program development is to find the task to determine what must be done. Machine Simulator or Easy PLC software suite contains the Easy Transfer Line example in the Machine Simulator. This is just one of many machines with the software so you can learn and develop your PLC programming skills. Launch Machine Simulator 4 and access the machine's menu. The O1 Easy Transfer Line option will be seen on the pre-configured machines. We will program this machine. As you move your mouse around the machine picture, you can select the icon on the top right side. This will show you the machine description. The photocell detects high boxes and sends them to the second conveyor using the pneumatic pusher. Conveyors are activated with digital output 1. They will also include the panel control. The green start light will be on when the system is ready to run. When the start is pressed, the stop light will be on to indicate how the system is to be stopped. Pressing the emergency stop button will turn off both lights and stop the sequence. The machine simulator has a demo mode for this built-in machine. Select close from the machine description window. Select the demo mode for the easy transfer line. This mode shows you the operation so you can better understand what needs to be accomplished. Press the control buttons in the simulator to operate the machine. Take some time to explore the 3D virtual environment using the navigation menu at the top of the window. The default selection allows you to move freely without colliding into any components, while the first person and third person modes provide different perspectives. Exploring the demo mode will help you understand how the easy transfer line operates. This will help you develop the PLC program to control the machine's actions effectively. Once we understand the task and have familiarized ourselves with the easy transfer operation, we can proceed to the next step in developing the XGB PLC program using the XG5000 programming software. By following these steps and gaining hands-on experience with the Machine Simulator Learning Suite and the XGB, you'll be well on your way to mastering PLC programming and applying your knowledge to real-world scenarios. So let's continue our journey and move on to the next step in the process. Step 2. Define the inputs and outputs. The written version specifies that we require 4 digital outputs and 5 digital inputs for an easy transfer line. Inputs are signals or data received by the PLC, while outputs are signals or data sent by the PLC to control external devices. By understanding the inputs and outputs, you can develop a program that reads the status of the inputs and activates the appropriate outputs. While still in demo mode, select the UIO to display the inputs and outputs required for this machine. These PLC IOs are for the machine's physical running and do not include the additional bits or registers that may be required for programming. This will show you the digital outputs on the left side of the screen and the digital inputs on the right side. If you are unsure what an output or input is doing, start the easy transfer line machine in start mode. Select View I.O. along the top of the Easy Transfer Line Machine Simulator window. You can manually run the Easy Transfer Line without any controller PLC connection. 
Select the outputs on the left to turn on and monitor the inputs on the right. Defining the inputs and output establishes the communication between the PLC and external devices. This allows the PLC program to monitor the inputs and continuously decide based on their status. The program can then activate the appropriate outputs to control the easy transfer line operation. It is important to note that PLC programs operate cyclically, meaning they continuously read the inputs and set the outputs. This ensures that the program is responsive to system changes and can adapt accordingly. By understanding the inputs and outputs and their relationship to the overall system, you can develop a logical sequence of operation for the easy transfer line PLC program. This is our next step. Step 3. Develop the logical sequence of operation. A flowchart or sequence table is used to understand the process that needs to be controlled thoroughly. It must also answer questions like the following. What happens when electrical power and or pneumatic air is lost? What happens when inputs and output devices fail? Do we need redundancy? Knowing all these answers up front is vital in developing the PLC program. This is the step where you can save a lot of work by understanding everything about the operation. It will help prevent you from continuously rewriting the PLC program logic. Here is a sequence table for the easy transfer line. You read the input conditions and then look to the right hand side for the outputs that will be set. The following line will then look for the input conditions again. As a programmer, it is vital to have a comprehensive understanding of the machine's sequence and operation before starting the programming process. This can be achieved by asking questions or reviewing existing documentation to ensure a clear understanding of the logical steps involved. This step sets the foundation for the subsequent development of the XGB PLC program, which will be covered in the next section. Step 4. Develop the PLC program. Writing the ladder logic code for the PLC example will be the next step in our program development. Start the XG5000 programming software and start a new project. This can be done by selecting the new project under the project tab on the main menu, using the shortcut Control N, or the new project icon on the main ribbon. We will name the project and select XGB PLC for our program. Comments can be added for future reference. Select OK. Our scan program will be displayed. Under the LSPLC that we selected the program, select Global Direct Variables. We can now enter the variables for our machine simulator easy transfer line. To aid in setting the variables, you can see that once an address is entered, we can highlight it, click and drag to populate the other variables below it. The Modbus addresses that we will use will match the settings for the communication to the XGB PLC. Here is the map. These addresses will be written when we set up the communication and Modbus server. As we program, remember to save your work often. Select the Scan Program tab. We can now create our ladder logic program using the inputs and output icons on the menu bar. As we enter the instructions, we can select the variables. Starting and stopping the conveyor is done with a set and reset instruction.
When the emergency stop is activated, both lights are turned off. This indicates to the operator that the emergency stop must be reset. When the photocell sees the high boxes, this activates the pneumatic pusher. When the pusher reaches the extended position, it will reset the pneumatic pusher. An end statement will indicate that this is where the program ends and to repeat the scan. Save your program. It is important to always save your program during programming. Double click on the internal FENet or fast Ethernet network port. This will call up the standard settings for the port. Under the basic tab, we can assign the IP address and settings to work with our network. Select the smart server for the server mode. This will include the Modbus server. Select the Modbus settings button. Change the default Modbus address settings to those we have selected for our program. Select OK. We can now connect and transfer the program to our XGB PLC. If you are unsure of the connection to the XGB, we can use the network browsing to discover the IP address. Once the PLC is discovered on our network, we can select OK. You can now select OK or connect from the connection settings window. You can also use the connect from the main menu. The bottom bar of the XG5000 programming software will turn green indicating that the PLC is connected and in run mode. Select right from the online option in the main menu. You will then stop the PLC and transfer the program and settings like Modbus into the controller. We now have the PLC ready to test. Step 5. Test the program. To ensure the functionality and accuracy of the XGPLC practice program for an easy transfer line machine, it is essential to test the program thoroughly. Utilizing Machine Simulator or MS is an effective way Using the MS, you can simulate the operation of the Easy Transfer Line Machine without needing physical hardware, minimizing the risk of damage during the testing phase. We will use Modbus TCP on our LS XGB PLC to communicate with the Easy PLC Machine Simulator. Call up the Easy Transfer Line Machine Simulator in start mode. The status of the machine simulator will be at the bottom of the screen. Currently, we have no PLC connected. Select I.O. Drivers on the top middle of the screen. The machine similar I.O. number will be displayed. Ensure we select more I.O. than is required for the Easy Transfer Line machine. The Easy PLC driver is selected by default. Under the driver pull-down, select Modbus Driver. This driver will communicate Modbus TCP or Ethernet and Modbus RTU serial. Select the Configure button. We can now enter the information for our Modbus driver. Select TCP IP. This means that the Ethernet port on the computer will communicate with the XGB PLC. The digital inputs from MS to the XGB PLC will be MX3216 to MX3219. Digital outputs from the MS to the XGB PLC will be MX6416 to MX6420. Select the OK button. You will now see the inputs and outputs specified for the Modbus driver. You can now manually assign the driver outputs to the PLC inputs and then driver inputs to the PLC outputs. However, the automatic assignment works well and will save you time. Select automatic assignment from the driver option in the main menu. This will automatically assign the PLC Simulator I.O. to the Machine Simulator I.O. 
select Start Driver and exit from the main menu. On the bottom left side of the window, the driver communicates with the XGB PLC with a green light. Select View I.O. to see the machine simulator's input and output status. Ensure that the XGB PLC is in run mode. We can now operate the Easy Transfer Line machine. The inputs and outputs of the MS will correspond to the PLC controller. Using Machine Simulator or MS to test the program will ensure that our program works. Troubleshooting is quickly done without any damage to physical hardware. This testing phase is critical in ensuring the safe and reliable operation of our Easy Transfer Line machine. You can practice your modification and debug by modifying the Easy Transfer Line machine operation in the following way. Add a counter for the large box conveyor to show the total. The control panel will need a reset button for this count. Calculate the rate of these boxes and boxes per hour. Let me know how you made out in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.